She's one of the most famous names in Hollywood history, best known for Playboy and Baywatch and a career that began in 1989. But this actor-turned-activist is more than the brand she created with her bombshell looks. From relationship drama to her unstoppable career, this is Pamela Anderson's incredible transformation. Anderson was born in 1967 in British Columbia and was raised by her mom Carol and her dad Barry. But despite her loving family, Anderson experienced a difficult childhood. She told the LA Times in 2014, "...I was assaulted from age 6 to 10 by my female babysitter. I went to a friend's boyfriend's house and the boyfriend's older brother decided he would teach me backgammon, which led to a back massage which led to assault." We naturally blame ourselves. I didn't tell my mother for a long time, and even when I told her, she went, oh, well, that's in the past. Don't even think about it anymore. It took years for her to overcome the trauma, but Anderson came out stronger than ever. Anderson turned heads during her iconic role on Baywatch, but years earlier, she actually began making waves with her talents as a model for Playboy. I like to walk in the rain. I mean, I love walking in the rain. I think it's so romantic, but it never rains here. <laughs> Anderson's career kicked off when she appeared on the cover in October 1989. Less than two years later, the model posed for her second cover in February 1991. During her chat with the outlet at the time, Anderson opened up about pursuing her goals of becoming a star, sharing, "...Hollywood people are dreamers, always grabbing for something big. I'm a dreamer too, so I guess I belong here." After finding fast success as a model, Anderson tried her hand at acting. She made her TV debut in an episode of Charles in Charge in 1990 and went on to star alongside Tim Allen in Home Improvement in 1991. She appeared on the show for two seasons until she landed Baywatch in 1992. While the series is still considered to be one of the most iconic action dramas in TV history, landing the gig of C.J. Parker was a piece of cake for Anderson. She told Elle in 2014, "...they were just like, are you Pamela Anderson? You have the job." The model-turned-actress appeared on the award-winning series for five seasons, but while Baywatch may have led to one of Anderson's most iconic roles ever, it wouldn't be her last. While Anderson was rising through the Hollywood ranks, her career talents weren't the only things thrust into the spotlight. Fans were very much interested in her personal life, and the buzz hit a fever pitch when she married her first husband, Motley Crue rocker Tommy Lee. The couple famously tied the knot in 95 after knowing each other for only four days. Their roller coaster relationship began with a bumpy start when an explicit tape from their honeymoon was leaked online. But the former couple took the case to court and ultimately reached a settlement, according to Us Weekly. It was stolen property. That's we never, either of us, made anything wow. from it. But despite the bad press, the duo experienced plenty of other struggles throughout their marriage. According to the AP, Lee was arrested for felony spousal abuse and was sentenced to six months in jail, which he began serving in 1998. The couple divorced that same year. Still, during their tumultuous five-year relationship, Anderson became the loving mom of their two kids, Brandon and Dylan. After stepping back from her career to raise her family, Anderson bounced back into the spotlight with VIP in 1998. And throughout the late 90s and into the 2000s, the actor appeared in countless TV shows and films. I've seen all of your movies. Really? Not all of them. Some of them. While dominating the small screen, she also started writing. Anderson made her debut as an author when she released 2004's Star. The following year, she published a second book titled Starstruck. And since then, she has released Raw in 2015 and Lust for Love in 2018. Anderson's first marriage ended in turmoil, but she wasn't afraid to give love a second shot with Kid Rock. The actress and the musician dated on and off for several years, but their marriage lasted only from 2006 to 2007. Just months after splitting with the crooner, she exchanged vows with Rick Salomon in Las Vegas in October 2007. But their quickie marriage was annulled four months later. By this point, things were so complicated that Tommy Lee had even announced that he and Pam were working on their relationship again. But Anderson shut down those claims on Ellen, revealing that she and Salomon were still hooking up. They eventually remarried in 2014, but split for good a year later. Short-term memory, I don't know what it is, I forget the bad times. We all do. 
Anderson has crafted an enviable career, but she also holds several causes close to her heart. Throughout the decades, she's helped raise awareness for, quote, human, animal, and environmental rights with the help of her Pamela Anderson Foundation. And in 2017, she told W Magazine she is on the PETA board, as well as the Council for the International Fund for Animal Welfare. Along with maintaining a presence in the entertainment industry, in 2020, she married her fourth husband, John Peters. Anderson and the film producer quietly tied the knot on January 20th, but split just 12 days later, according to The Hollywood Reporter. She then married her bodyguard, Dan Hayhurst, on Christmas Eve 2020. I couldn't resist. She couldn't <laughs> resist me. Anderson is living her best life in her 50s, and thanks to her lifelong career hustle and no apologies attitude, she certainly established herself as Hollywood royalty. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.